Um, you know, another thing that was in the news recently I want to get your opinion on is the blood test for Alzheimer's dementia. Um, what, why, why is this not going to be everybody? Like, why shouldn't everybody go to their doctor and say, hey, I want that blood test for dementia? Yeah, so um, it's an exciting development, uh, having blood tests for amyloid, right? Not dementia. So dementia is our clinical syndrome, um, and amyloid can lead to dementia. But as I mentioned earlier, you can have amyloid in your brain 10, 15, 20 years prior to the onset of symptoms. You can, uh, you know, pass away at age 90, completely normal cognition with a brain full of amyloid. That is a possibility, right? So dementia is this clinical classification, you know, a, a problem with memory, executive function, other uh, domains that uh, lead to you not being able to, say, drive a car, pay the monthly bills, having difficulty using appliances and those sorts of things. So then the question is, well, should everybody test for amyloid in their brain, right? So anybody with symptoms, I think that's totally reasonable to use one of these newer blood tests. And these will be in the clinic soon. I'm trying to get FDA approval. Um, you know, it, it takes time to scale up and, and uh, put them on a level where we can use them easily in the clinic. We're almost there, I really think so. Uh, and it'll be as accurate as our other methods now, which are a PET scan or a, a spinal tap. Um, so that's great. So, but the question is, well, I'm 60, I don't have any symptoms, uh, but I wanna know if I have amyloid in my brain. And, you know, that's a little bit tricky. Again, that's sort of like the APOE conversation. Well, you know, why do you want to know you need to have the uh, appropriate context? You know, what are we going to do about that? Um, and, you know, all those sorts of discussions which are complex. Now, if we just shotgunned in the entire world, uh, a six-year-old or got amyloid tests, and then they have, you know, some people, the negatives, great. They're going to not worry about it. People that are positive, they're probably going to worry about it, want to know what it means, what to do. They're going to need access uh, to expertise. And then there's going to be a bunch of people who have sort of intermediate results. And then and then what do you do? Um, and so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's tough right now to really guide uh, what one any individual should do. But I would say it's a decision that should be thought about, probably in consultation with somebody who knows about these sorts of things. And um, right now, at this moment, I would say, no, it's probably not worth it if, if uh, in, in the absence of any symptoms or possible symptoms to get tested for amyloid. Now, I will add, there's, again, these uh, prevention trials ongoing that are, uh, some of them use blood tests actually to, to uh, uh, include uh, participants in the study or as part of that algorithm. And, you know, these newer studies are using the drugs that are available for persons with symptoms, but giving them to people who have amyloid in their brain, but no change in cognition and following them for four or five years to see if it then lowers risk. Now, if one of those trials is uh, works out and it says, you know, yeah, we've decreased the risk of dementia by 50% in persons with amyloid uh, by giving a drug uh, prior to the onset of symptoms that would go through the FDA, et cetera. There may be a, a, an FDA approved therapy to lower risk for Alzheimer's disease with a pharmacologic agent in the next several years. Um, it's not there yet though. And so getting that test in an asymptomatic person when it's not perfect, that you're not gonna know what to do with it. You're not going to have this context that there's lots of people just because you have amyloid in your brain doesn't mean you have dementia. It means that you, you have amyloid in your brain. Um, and so it's, uh, it's, it's a complex thing and there's not enough people or knowledge out there to sort of, uh, um, you know, disperse, so to speak, or to democratize the access to this expertise. And people will try to, you know, sell you tests, right? So you, you, you got to be careful which one, you know, how accurate, et cetera. I'd say right now at, at current time, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't recommend my family did it, but I would stay tuned. And in certain circumstances, or if there's a concern for symptoms, then it may be a good idea. Yeah, that's great. Brain full of amyloid. I'm going to have a hard time <laughs> forgetting that. 